Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio workshop. As always, I'm here with Mad Zuri. Greetings. And today we're going over uh, three builds submitted by Medic. Now, I think we previously have done some builds by them. I'm not exactly sure which ones. Uh, we've done so many at this point. But uh, he submitted a, a lab build, a red science build, and a green science build with um, some smarts built in, which are pretty awesome. So if we come over, uh, we'll cover the lab build first. Uh, this is... Believe it or not, actually one stamp. Uh, this is huge. It includes 256 labs and uh, can actually tile up to four times. Uh, I don't know if, you, if you've tiled this up to four times, uh, I'm pretty sure you lag out because this thing is a lag machine. Yeah, it definitely wins through a really cool, but it's a UPS hog. Oh, yeah. So if we come up here, um, we have our inputs pretty much in order of red, green, blue, uh, military, purple, high tech, and space. Um, but there's quite a bit of smarts going on here, and you'll see these inserters flickering. And I'll let you cover this, Zuri. Um, pretty cool system going on here. Yeah, it's cycling back and forth to control which filters are set for each set of these inserters. And a problem we've covered before in some of the other lab builds is that it'll just grab the first pack it sees and whatever and then only feeds that one but when you change the filters back and forth like this it can more quickly get started by changing which pack it can uh, pass through and pick up right which is is really nice and it um you can see that it only each inserter only cycles between two packs so it's not like trying to cycle every single pack it's just kind of ones that are together like purple and high tech and then like green and uh, red and military and blue and then space is on its own that just it, it cycles but it just cycles between itself yeah they have four input and four output inserters for the center labs and each filter inserter cycles or stack filter inserter you get what yeah. i'm saying right yeah cycles <laughs> yes they cycle between the two so you can have eight packs total but there's only seven packs in the game so we have a spare belt down here that i'm guessing is here for symmetry Yep, which is fine. Um, and, I mean, really, it looks really cool as well. Um, and again, just to show, I will, well, you can see my UPS dropping as I take out the blueprint, um, how this does tile just like that. Uh, but tiling these four times would just probably lag you out. And that is a massive amount of science. Like, this amount of labs can just do an absurd amount of science. Like, we've already blown through Robo Speed 7, 8, and are almost done with nine in about the last half hour or less. Um, so it it's going pretty quick. Yeah, one of my only complaints is that it's not using speed beacons, mm -hmm. but it's you can't really fit them in here. Yeah, that is true without messing some stuff up. But uh, oh, one last note on this um, before we move on to the other builds is it does have these very handy belt guards on here which um are kind of indicated uh, through these uh constant combinators is a uh, zuri did a test and uh, it it works really well so if we just change one of these to anything that's not purple essentially um it will shut off this thing and this way it does not contaminate your belts um with packs that shouldn't be here yeah the indicator light turns on which and you should notice that your research is stopped or the belts are going empty so you fix the input problem by switching this back over, for instance, and then you clean up the line and it should start working again. Yep, which is super, super nice. Um, kind of helps eliminate those oopsie mistakes where you mix up your belts and stuff like that. Um, yep. Yeah, that's never happened, right? Yeah, totally, never. Uh, and then down to the red science and uh, it uses kind of some similar concepts with the smarts. Um, it also um, has belt guards on here for the copper and the iron and uh is fully prodded so this would be more of a kind of later game thing and this actually tiles or we put a little um indicator here with belts it tiles up 20 times um and it tiles uh down since the inputs are on the top overlap the substations and there you go you can tile this 20 times which is also a pretty absurd amount of science and would definitely uh lag you pretty bad as well i'd imagine with 20 of these yeah, lots of belts, lots of inserters, lots of certain conditions. It's a lag machine. But again, uh, really cool. Can help you uh, 
in determining which build to select. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, you know, as far as, you know, putting aside lag, the build is really good. Um, it's compact, it tiles perfectly, um, you know, the smarts are cool and pretty handy. Um, but, but yeah, so kind of up to you. I mean, I don't know that you would really ever want to do like 20 of these with this type of design, but if you want to, you can. Um, and then over to the green, um, this guy tiles 16 times. Um, it is a bit of a bigger build and um, it tiles actually the opposite direction. It tiles up since the inputs are on the bottom. Same thing, overlap the substations and uh, you know, kind of using some similar stuff that has nice indicator lights. Uh, like this guy, this uh, these two lights turn on if this belt is backed up to kind of indicate that it's full. Uh, and then we have some blue lights here. This guy turns on to indicate this belt's full. Uh, however, there are there is uh, one complaint Zuri had, and I would be inclined to agree with this as well. Yeah, I don't like the the splitting method used here. Yeah, this I, I'm is sure we've covered it plenty of times before. I, this is not my preferential. This does not win the rule of cool for me. This is just I, I just don't like it. Yeah, these these priority splitters. I think we did cover this in some other science build as well. Is um, they don't tend to work like 100% of the time um, due to like delays and stuff. So we kind of avoid them when possible. But uh, yeah, so I mean, it's 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 not like the worst thing, but definitely just like normal splitting would probably be better here. I agree. And that's pretty much it. A uh, quick note: uh, he, he is putting uh, efficiency modules in here. There is actually one missing. Um, to get it, the energy all the way down, I'm guessing that's just a mistake. Um, but you can't obviously prod inserters or belts, so that's why there's no prod modules in here. Everything else is prodded as well, um, just the same as the red one. Also of note, the uh, using just productivity modules and those speed beacons will make this very energy inefficient and also make it use a lot more space. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, it's a very good point. Uh, and then lastly, I'm sure you guys are wondering in terms of production, um, the green one does about 150-ish, um, give or take a few every minute, and then the reds do about 115 or so a minute. Uh, like I said, it is a bigger green build than the red build, so not quite balanced. And that, I guess that was my other tiny complaint, is um, if you were to use like both of these, typically you want your sciences to be about balanced, like ratio together um, between each other, so... I just find it a little odd that one was a fair bit larger than the other, but that's not that big of a deal, really. Well, it's especially frustrating since they are exactly the same size. Our height, actually. Height, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's longer. Um, but that, that pretty much covers it. So all three of these builds by the same person, uh, Medic, really... Really great job, definitely nailed the rule of cool, and uh, the smarts and cycling is super fantastic, uh, but they are a bit laggy for sure. And I think that covers it. You have anything else to add for any of these, Zuri? Nope. All right, that'll do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave your thoughts down below. Keep sending submissions in, and uh, blueprints for these will be in the description, and we will see you next time. Later.